Hello and welcome to another Dragon PMA tutorial. Um, again, uh, I'm not going to linger too much on this, but I just want to um, do something simple, which is uh, show you how to change a screensaver. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, just like uh, the desktop background one. You probably know how to do it already, even if you haven't even used the Mac. It's simply, um, if you've seen that one, that is. Anyway, right, so I'm not going to try and um, keep you too long, but two three minutes or whatever however long it takes but you'll notice I've got iMovie open um, and all these applications and stuff so um, my computer because it's not the best one in the world uh, it's not an Intel it will feel a little bit non-responsive to me I don't know what it'll look like but anyway to the nitty-gritty as I usually say system preferences is where most of your stuff well most customizable stuff starts so I've gone in the system preferences like so and it pops my system preferences window. So now it's pretty obvious personal, desktop, and screensaver. Uh, I don't know, maybe the screensaver can be changed in here. So desktop screensaver, and you clicky, and it'll just load. Um, and you got these tabs, like I mentioned in the desktop changing tutorial. So what do you do? You click the screensaver button, voila. And here comes your screensaver menu. Now, in here, You've got all kinds of stuff. To be honest, I haven't really um, messed around with the settings in this. So I'm not entirely sure what amazing things you can get. Now, you see a video that I'm playing here in the background is actually through Voop, which is a screensaver thing where you can play your videos as a screensaver. Um, so, start from the top, I suppose. Computer name. What is it? Click it and have a look. You know? My computer is called me. Voila. Not exactly complex, is it? Now, I don't know what a screensaver would look like on the screen capture utility, but we'll give it a try, shall we? Clicky test, and this is what happens. Now, I'm going to describe what I see. I see the Apple Mac logo and the word mini in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. I'm presuming it's going to change. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. In fact, that's quite boring, if I'm honest. And I'm just going to shake the mouse, click, and I'm back. Right. So, Cosmos, for example, I really like this. Um, remembering, if you've seen the desktop um, tutorial, um, we don't have to click apply or OK to apply the sentence. As soon as you click it and you see it in here, it's applied. So, for example, I've got in, uh, I think it's das dashboard and expose. Yes, it is. Uh, hotspots, active screen corners. Uh, in the bottom right, bottom left, sorry, getting them confused, I have start screens here. What does that mean? It means when I hover my mouse in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, the screensaver should start. But I'm guessing it's not because of um, high processing. There we go. High processing in iMovies. Um, okay, you get the point, really. It's not the most advanced thing ever because I'm working on a little Mac Mini. Come on, I'm sorry. If it was an Intel Mac, I would, and it was doing this, I would be disgusted. Anyway, back to back to what I was saying. So, um, I'm going to test it. Abstract, uh, Cosmos, etc. So, so you just click it, as uh, looking for slides. Um, as soon as it's clicked, you can test your screensaver by going in the corner or clicking test in the window. Um, this seems to be a bit slow. Um, there we go. It seems to have done it again, and off our screensaver goes. There's a little Jupiter in the top left, uh, right, and get me lefts and rights and ups and downs confused in the top right hand corner of the screen. Here comes whatever it is, I don't know what it is, some red blob. Right, so, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you click it first and it's applied. There we go. Um, also, a kind of time limit, so three minutes, never, three minutes, never. And there's a little hot link to show corners. Right. Okie dokie, so I'm just going to choose Forest, in fact Cosmos, I like Cosmos, and close the window and my screensaver is applied. Now, um, I suppose I would have liked to have shown you installing a screensaver, but unfortunately I don't have any kind of screensaver to install, so maybe that's another tutorial later on in life. I uh, hope you've learned something and hopefully I haven't patronized you too much and I really really hope that you're not going to be put off because my computer at the moment isn't as responsive as it should be um, 
there that's life it's four years old it's g3 it's not the be g3 g4 whatever it is it's not the best please don't take this as a it's a fast computer this will not at all play games and this will not at all render this that and the other in five seconds wow so yeah uh i hope you've learned something i hope um i haven't annoyed you to death thank you very much for listening um goodbye